It's been really great bringing together the first trustee board for NCRI. So we've got a great group of trustees, but also um, getting to know the staff team and working with Karen Kennedy, who's the director of NCRI. Obviously, um, I took over as the chair of the partnership from Harpal Kumar, chief exec of CIUK, and he's been great um, in giving me uh, the support that I need to, to get underway in the new role. It's an exciting time for NCRI. We've got a, a new cancer strategy um, coming to the fore now with quite significant um, uh, areas of interest for NCRI. So it's a very interesting time for us. The first meeting that I chaired was the the spring summer meeting where um, we went through the entire um, NCRI program and identified where then was the potential for more collaboration um, um, and it was you know, absolutely fascinating to hear the diverse range of activities from an interest in um, living um, with or beyond cancer through to CT RAD which is a very well established program and, and just the, the wealth of expertise and knowledge in the room from the partners because we bring together um, all the key cancer funders in the UK and so getting everyone around the table it's, it's really impressive actually when you see um, that group um, coming together to, to formulate good ideas for the future. I believe very strongly that um, in cancer research we can't achieve anything on our own and what NCRI does is it brings together the leading cancer funders in the UK, so charities, uh, government health departments, research councils and these funders together fund about £500 million of research a year which is a phenomenal uh, effort. Um, but there are things that we identify um, where there is a particular need or a particular opportunity where the partners can come together and actually um, create progress much more quickly by acting together. And that's what's so exciting about NCRI. It really is about um, everyone getting together and doing just that bit more to get to the patient benefit that much more quickly. I first got involved with NCRI um, through um, my role as Chief Exec of Breast Cancer Now. Breast Cancer Now was formed out of the merger of Breakthrough Breast Cancer and Breast Cancer Campaign. Um, and so we were involved in NCRI as a research funder. Um, one of the key things that, that we've done is to set up a tissue bank and it's been really interesting to work with partners um, around the, the biobanking initiatives to ensure that we really are at the, the forefront of best practice for example. Um, so that that's you know that's the I've seen the benefit for the charity of getting involved in a wider partnership firsthand and that's helped me to, to really appreciate the benefits of NCRI more widely. I think the highlight of the conference for me has actually been the networking. It's been a great opportunity to meet and talk to uh, people from all corners of the UK, all the different um, partners, and, but also to meet the international speakers who've come over, braving the fog in many cases. So it's been great. And I really enjoyed the consumer forum that I spoke at. Um, the consumer presence here is really strong and that's something very special about NCRI. It's only really with the insight of the consumers, the perspective of patients, that we can be absolutely clear that we're making a difference and doing it in the right way. So, you know, that's been really impressive actually. Yeah. One of the most enjoyable, fun aspects of the conference has actually been the Breast Cancer Now debate that we hosted on Sunday night. And it was really good fun to see the scientists and clinicians engaging in the debate and arguing for and against their, their position. So it was about um, prevention, research versus the value of research into the causes of breast cancer and and you know it was it was great to see um, you know a bit of uh, kind of passion getting into the debate and uh, that was that was a, a highlight actually mm -hmm.